Thanks for coming today and being prompt. We'll uh, appropriately chastise the, uh, the other media. On primary election night, I said that our campaign would endeavor to put before voters of Evansville a clear path for our city and its future. Our campaign will place before will place people and principles ahead of politics and offer our citizens the best ideas of how we can move Evansville forward. I said our campaign would offer our neighbors a roadmap, one that will lead us through this decade and into the next by making Evansville a top destination for job creation and growth. Today I'm introducing the first draft of my vision for Evansville's economy, and it's the first of several position papers, if you will, that will be released between now and Election Day. This plan outlines a set of broad themes around which we will build our agenda. And like any good roadmap, this starts us on a journey with a clear set of directions. However, we undertake this effort with the understanding that new ideas for saving money, saving time, and accelerating our pace will pop up along the way. In an effort to put a premium on pragmatism over creativity, I've called this simply the Winnicky Jobs Plan. It contains five key areas of focus that I'm excited to share with you today. Leadership on economic development and jobs is not something that can be delegated to committees, but rather requires a hands-on approach. Selling our community is crucial to creating an atmosphere for job creation and development in Evansville. As mayor, I will personally make monthly calls to existing companies in our city to develop close working relationships with our community's employers and leverage the city's resources to assist those companies and prospective employers expand and attract new investments in Evansville. This effort will have a special focus on providing the availability of new technology developed by our military that can be transferred to the private sector. A key component to our success will be cutting red tape. Stories of del delays or exhaustive hurdles in the process to land a new company or retain an existing employer will not be tolerated in a Winnicky administration. Streamlining the permitting process in coordination with the Area Plan Commission and the Building Commissioner will provide clarity and provide a user-friendly process for business owners, site selectors, and developers. Through my work with local economic development agencies, there is no doubt that the creation of an angel network, a venture capital group, is absolutely necessary to promote entrepreneurship. Such a network provides entrepreneurs not only with a financial footing to start a business and grow jobs, but also keen insight that, it, that can help ensure the success of any new startup business. Under Governor Daniels' direction, the state of Indiana has encountered overwhelming success with Buy Indiana initiatives. When it makes fiscal sense to do so, the city of Evansville should invest in local businesses by purchasing products and services locally. The local first mentality is not only common sense, but it should be a standard for doing business. All the programs and proposed initiatives are meaningless unless they are accurately and accurately communicated to the general public and the private sector alike. The next mayor must set uh, measurable goals and be fully, trans uh, fully accountable for the results. Like many citizens, I have deep concerns that city government has not been listening. However, I believe it can once again be responsive through transparent reporting and planning led by the mayor's office. For so these areas of focus, we'll work hard every day to make sure Evansville is leveraging all of its strengths to compete and succeed in today's global economy. Now, our campaign is going to be about what we will do with the place, with the trust that voters place in us, how we will govern if we were chosen by our neighbors to lead Evansville. With the launch of our jobs plan today, we're opening that dialogue with citizens. We hope everyone will go to the website, www.winnikeyformayor.com com and download a copy of the plan. Once you've read it, tell us what you like, tell us where we can enhance the plan, and share it with your neighbors. We'd appreciate the feedback. Making Evansville a destination for growth and job creation is not a job for only one person. It's a job for everyone that works and makes a home here, but I'm excited to the prospect of leading that charge. Today we kick off the discussion for how together we'll get the job done. This time I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Lloyd, your thoughts on the benefits, uh, drawbacks of tax abatement in terms of attracting companies and jobs? Tax phase-ins are a critical component to help attract new investment in the community. I would think that our community would continue to embrace those where they make sense. 
happy with Gage, the way they're working with the city on that? I think the growth, the partnership with the city and Growth Alliance has really improved. I think the direction of the Growth Alliance has uh, taken in recent months is a positive, positive one. It, clearly, the, they are uh, about attracting technology and innovation to our city, and I, I think that can only grow. Got to touch on transparency. We've seen so many times that people probably just didn't feel like they're heard. Why is this so important for the success of you to get the voters, you know, for people's input? It's, it's all about transparency, frank, frankly. Uh, as mayor, we'll set out, we'll announce what our goals for job creation are, and we'll report back on a regular basis. I'll ask that the Growth Alliance for Greater Evansville do the same. I'll ask this coalition of uh, the Economic Development Coalition of Southwest Indiana, both of whom the city of Evansville makes a financial investment, report regularly to the citizens on the progress they're making. Likewise, the, the, uh, the, pro the proposal to streamline the permitting process, we'll, we'll make more specific proposals as we get into office, and we'll report back on our progress. People need to know how what our goals are and how we're uh, working to accomplish those goals. It seems like you're working to get the public input also. Absolutely. This is this is my vision, my ideas. I don't have to have, I think, all the all the best ideas. A lot of people have good ideas and will welcome community input. You think too often red tape makes folks shy away from establishing a, a business in Evansville? I know that red tape too often shies away, makes people shy away from making additional investments in the city. Jay Zimmer, a friend of mine, worked for us, worked for 14, opens up a, co a coffee shop in Virginia and Maine, and he was stunned at the amount of, I mean, yes, the health department has to do this, and you have to do this, but the amount of time and the amount of stuff that you really have to do just to get this, this little thing off the ground. If you, if, if you talk to a home builder, as an, I mean, we've been talking about jobs, but as an example, a home builder has to make multiple trips to the Civic Center to obtain the permits they need. And there needs to be a central repository for permitting. There needs to be a, a mechanism by which developers of any kind can make payment online so they don't have to make multiple trips to the Civic Center to either complete an application or to make payment. How will you determine which businesses you go to? Just draw them out of the hat there's so well we won't draw them out of the hat I mean obviously we will sit down and prior prioritize the businesses that we feel are the largest and most influential those that may really uh, benefit from the technology transfer ag agreement that we have with crane so we'll uh, we'll sit we'll just sit down and prioritize them at first